Hello everyone, I'm Lee Ho Kran Boris from Form 5A. Last year, I was number one in English in the year of 2014 to 2015. And in this video today, I would like to share with you guys a few tips on how to improve English as a whole and actually some, and actually talk about some tips on individual papers respectively. So now I've, I'm going to start by the general tips on how to improve English. A very important practice is um, regular reading. Now, why is this important? Now I have here a book which is named Four. And this is a book written by Veronica Roth. It is in the, that's in the Divergent series, and this series is uh, my most recommended series in, for improving English vocabulary and sentence structure. This series is simple yet very enticing. You can find a lot of new words and new sentence structure in the book. And the words aren't difficult, but you can definitely improve your um, your composition just by reading a few chapters in the book. So I really recommend reading and this can give you a wide exposure to new vocabulary and sentence structure. Next, for improving oral and listening skills, my most recommended tactic is to watch YouTube. I know it may seem out of place at times, but you know, as the world advances and technology improves, using YouTube to improve your English will be in inevitable. Because you can find a um, native speaker posting videos on YouTube and you can actually mimic how they, t how they talk and you can pick up a few important information just by reading their videos, just by watching their videos, and actually become more adapted to listening to English as, as a whole. So watching YouTube is very important on improving your oral skills and listening skills. So these are very important. Now for improving um, the skills on reading, let's start from paper one reading, okay? Paper one, reading. Okay. Now, when you're doing the paper, for some people, the time may be limited. So, it is very important to actually highlight the words, the, the character, to highlight the character, the character, or the people who are mentioned in the passage, and their job or um, identity because most likely in the paper in the in the answer in the answer sheet a question will be asked will ask you for what the character is actually what the job what, what's the occupation of the character so when you highlight those it would be very um, uh, time-saving when you're actually doing the passage and next what you have to do when doing the passage is to actually con is to actually read the whole passage first and then do the paper because you have a comprehensive understanding on how you do the on how on how the story works and how different characters are tied to to one another and this would be an ultimate way on actually understanding the entire passage and attain a good score in paper 1 for paper 2 comprehension Sorry, for paper two, writing. A very important skill is to actually learn a lot of vocabulary. And the way to learning a lot of vocabulary uh, is actually from reading a lot. If you have rigor rigorous reading, vocabulary will soon flow into your dictionary, into your own personal dictionary. And then you need to utilize those vocabulary wisely and appropriately. And by doing so, you need to acquire new sense structure and utilize them in your writing. And this will make your uh, composition a lot more holistic and a lot more enticing and, and intriguing. And this way, you can only in this way can you attain a good score in paper two writing. And for paper three, uh, I remember it was listening and uh, comprehensive skill and integration. 
and integrated skills. And this is actually a lot similar to the paper two writing because they both involve writing a long passage. So basically just follow the skill from writing and you'll get a good score in listening. And for paper four oral, just refer to my skill on watching YouTube. And that is the end for my sharing on how to improve English and get a better score in the exam. Thank you.